Have you ever been at a barbecue or a party and reached for a cold can of Pepsi? Or maybe you've just had a craving for the refreshing, caramel-colored drink on a hot summer day. But have you ever stopped to think about how Pepsi Cola is made? Carbonated beverages, also known as soda or pop, are drinks that contain carbon dioxide gas dissolved in them, which gives them their characteristic fizz and effervescence. The origins of carbonated beverages can be traced back to ancient civilizations, when people discovered that adding fruit juices or honey to water and allowing the mixture to ferment would produce a naturally carbonated drink. The first artificially carbonated beverages were developed in the late 18th century, when scientists and investors began experimenting with ways to artificially produce carbon dioxide and dissolve it in water. One of the earliest examples of an artificially carbonated beverage was created by English scientist and inventor Joseph Priestley in 1767, who discovered that he could infuse water with carbon dioxide by suspending a bowl of water above a beer vat. Carbonated beverages became more widely available in the 19th century when advances in technology made it possible to mass produce and distribute them. The first commercial soda fountain was established in the United States in 1806, and by the end of the century, Carbonated beverages had become a popular and widespread refreshment. Today, carbonated beverages are enjoyed all over the world and come in a variety of flavors. We go behind the scenes to see how Pepsi makes its famous soda pop. Pepsi is a carbonated soft drink brand owned and produced by PepsiCo. The brand was first introduced in the United States in 1893 by Caleb Bradham as Brad's Drink and was renamed Pepsi Cola in 1898. A combination of words, pepsin, a digestive enzyme, and cola, a type of tree native to West Africa. The name was intended to reflect the drink's supposed digestive properties. The original formula for the drink included sugar, water, caramel, lemon oil, nutmeg, and cola nuts. In 1903, the company was renamed the Pepsi Cola Company and began expanding its distribution. Over the next several decades, Pepsi continued to grow in popularity and expanded its product line to include a variety of beverages, including Mountain Dew, Gatorade, and Tropicana. In 1965, the Pepsi Cola Company merged with Frito Lay Incorporated to form PepsiCo Inc., which is now one of the largest food and beverage companies in the world. Today, Pepsi is sold in more than 200 countries and territories around the globe. So how is this refreshing drink made? Let's find out. The first step in the production process is the delivery of raw materials. Pepsi sources ingredients like sugar, corn syrup, and caramel color from various suppliers and transports them to the production facility. Once the ingredients have been delivered, they are stored in the warehouse until they are needed in the production process. Next, the ingredients are mixed together in large tanks to create the syrup base for the drink. The exact formula for the syrup varies depending on the specific product being used but it typically includes a combination of sugar, corn syrup, and flavoring agents. The sugar and corn syrup provide the sweet taste and texture of the drink, while the flavoring agents are responsible for the specific taste and aroma of the finished product. These flavoring agents can include a variety of ingredients, such as natural and artificial flavors, citric acid, and other acids and chemicals. The syrup is typically heated and treated with enzymes to break down the sugar molecules and make them more easily dissolved. Once the syrup has been mixed, it is filtered to remove any impurities and then cooled. The next step in the process is the carbonation of the syrup. Carbon dioxide is added to the syrup to give it the characteristic fizziness of a carbonated beverage. To create carbonation, carbon dioxide gas is pressurized and dissolved in a liquid under high pressure. This process can be done in a variety of ways, such as by injecting the gas directly into the liquid or by passing the gas through the liquid in a closed container. The pressure and temperature of the liquid and gas, as well as the solubility of the gas in the liquid, all play a role in the amount of carbon dioxide that can be dissolved in the liquid. Once the carbon dioxide has been dissolved in the liquid, the pressure is released and the carbon dioxide comes out of the solution, forming tiny bubbles in the liquid. This creates the fizzy and bubbly effect that is characteristic of carbonated beverages. Carbonation is used in the production of beverages to add flavor and texture, as well as to preserve the freshness of the drink. However, it is important to note that carbonated beverages can also have negative effects on health, 
such as contributing to tooth decay and increasing the risk of obesity and other health problems. After the syrup has been carbonated, it is mixed with purified water to create the final product. The water is treated with a variety of filtration and purification methods to ensure that it meets the high quality standards of PepsiCo. Once the syrup and water have been combined, the mixture is pasteurized to extend its shelf life and ensure that it is safe for consumption. This involves heating the mixture to a high temperature for a brief period, then rapidly cooling it down. After pasteurization, the drink is ready to be packaged. It can be packaged in a variety of formats, including cans, bottles, and fountain dispensers. Carbonated beverages tend to lose their fizz over time, regardless of the container they are stored in. This is because the carbon dioxide that gives the drink its bubbles begins to escape from the liquid as soon as it is opened. The rate at which this occurs depends on several factors, including the temperature, humidity, and the amount of air present in the container. For canned and bottled products, the next step is labeling and packaging. Soda labeling machines are designed to automatically apply labels to bottles or cans of carbonated beverages. These machines typically use a combination of mechanical and electric components to accurately apply labels to the containers as they move through the labeling process. The cans or bottles are labeled with the Pepsi logo and other relevant information, such as the expiration date and nutritional information. Soda labeling machines are designed to work quickly and efficiently, often labeling hundreds or thousands of bottles or cans per hour. Once the cans or bottles have been labeled, they are automatically packaged into boxes or cartons, depending on the size of the package. The packaged products are then transferred to the warehouse where they are stored until they are ready to be shipped to distributors and retailers. The finished product is shipped to warehouses where it is stored until it is ready to be shipped to distributors and retailers. Distributors are responsible for distributing the products to retailers in a specific geographic region, who then make the products available to consumers through their stores or other outlets. The process of making Pepsi Cola is complex and involves many different steps and activities but it is designed to efficiently produce a high-quality product that is enjoyed by consumers around the world.